Live and direct, put in perspective. I'm trying to watch the Knicks. People were kind of shitting on me because, what can I say? I gave up on the Knicks because I didn't like James Dolan being the owner. I was in the same position as a Mets fan. Like, when you have these owners, if they're running a corporation and you're supporting them and you keep supporting them just by talking about them, even watching them on television at the bar, wherever it is, that's sponsoring them in some sort of way. And these are New York teams, so they never fail. It's like they never are going to lose money. It, they're too big to fail. So with the Knicks, they were in that position. And, and you know, what I always mention is that the James Dolan, he knows that the Knicks, I mean, this is the number one value franchise at times, which is insane because they haven't won in my entire lifetime, they haven't been respectable in about eight or nine years. And that was for a one or two year span. It's been two, one or two years in the last 20 that they've been respectable. From the top to bottom, I'm saying. Like, it's important if, if, if you're running, if you're a parent and you're not playing your role at home, what happens? You know, when politics is similar where... I feel like there's too many old people who are, who are running the government. Something has to happen. Something has to has to change. And the Knicks look like look like they they have changed. And I, I, you have to tip your cap to them. I mean, they're, they're the lowest salary cap in the league. They're in position to sign whoever they want. I don't know if they're going to be a desired place for any superstar, but. It's, it starts with something like this. Lower salary cap, and then you're being competitive and competent. And then you have your superstar player, or your best player, who is your star. He became an all-star, um, and they're thriving. So that's all you ever want to see. And, as, and if you have a general manager who's showing he's skilled and shrewd, that's all you could really ask for. So Julius Randle is doing great. The, the latest for him... From what I've noticed, right, what I've, what I like is the obvious. He's jumped up in every category, and that's great. Then the last thing for him is just he's way too emotional at the end of a game, and those are the times where you're supposed to be the most poised. That's crunch time, and he he, he has a handle and he he has a, he can shoot, he can score, but it's not easy being that guy. Usually, it's a guard, a wing player who's able to create his own shot especially especially at that at that time of the game and he's just been very most he had a, a nice three-pointer uh, against it wasn't the pistons it was the game before the wizards they just blew the wizards out by like 30 and that's another good sign when when you're a a, a competitive team and you destroy the bad teams. I always like seeing that, and you know that that's great. Um, but again, it, they need someone in question time. I know people are asking for Derrick Rose and and uh, Alfred Payton to to run the point guard late in the game, but that's not what you need. I mean that that that's serviceable and that's okay for now. Uh, but in the next couple of years, you you can't have that. You're not looking for Derrick Rose to be your answer in the next three or four years. Julius Randle entering his physical prime. Um, and R.J. Barrett looks like he's, he, he can be a monster too. So the Knicks are missing a point guard, and they're missing – I mean, Mitchell Robinson can be a great come-up as well. But the number, the number one issue with them is passing and creating their, and, and someone else creating their own shot late in the game. And, you know, they're missing that. But all in all – I think they're doing things the right way, and you don't want to see them force anything. But Mitchell Robinson is a good piece, I think, to trade. You know, you never know. I, I just think if, if you can get someone who's 3 and D, he's great for, uh, defensively. He can cover a lot of ground. Uh, I don't expect Nerlens Noel to, to be, you know, he's he's up in the air. That's a question mark. His health has always been an issue. 